That's mine right there, the, yeah. the blue one with the propane tank. I remember that day well. I owned a little cottage down on Chandler Road at the time. Mm -hmm. I was in Oak Bay, but I went down Sanders that day. The whole men's club there was. Mm -hmm. That was the men's club. Yeah. That's uh, Mark Jolly's place there. That's the yacht club. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, that's Connolly's Wharf, of course. Yeah. The CPR Wharf. Mm -hmm. That's Pooch Stewart's old factory. This is at the corner of the. Uh, this is at the corner of uh, Pagan mm -hmm. and uh, Sophia. Yeah, I thought it yeah. was good. And uh, yeah, that's the CPR. Pooch Holm? Pooch uh, Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, that would be Lee Beaton's uh, stepfather. Yeah, what's that? Connolly's Connolly's Wharf submerged, mm. and the CPR Wharf somewhat submerged. Mm. Now that's my. No. That's not mine. But I'm in the, this row of houses, yeah. cottages. That's mine right there, the, yeah. the blue one with the propane tank. Oh, that's amazing. The waves breaking right over the roof. Yeah. And that's the fish market, Reg Robichaud's fish market. Yeah. Rose McKay Hahn's house. Oh, uh, is that where she lived? Mm -hmm. That's where her son Frank lives. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, it looked like the railroad. Uh, the thing going down, down there, we get. Oh, it's, now it's that was a building, that was a yeah. twine shed, see, that, uh -huh. that Connie said there for mending twine. This is part of Connie's wharf. See, Connie's wharf's entirely underwater. Yes. See, look at this. That's the, that was the building they used to mend twine and things. This is hmm. this is where Connie Lobster was. You see, I bet you there's yeah, the Connie's hmm. Lobster plant was right. See, mm -hmm. this is you can't get into Connie's Lobsters mm -hmm. where the girls w went into the uh, uh, shop there for. Uh, What's that big building? That's Connie's Lobster here. See, oh, yeah. and that's see the water look. See, the mm -hmm. girls couldn't uh, tell the water coming down yeah. the street here. Mm -hmm. And that's the old plant there, the lobster plant, yeah, that burned. Oh, it's down the point, isn't it? Where is it? I think it's by the campground, yeah. Yeah. We're just down at the Kiwanis Park. Was it called that in those days? Did you call it that? I mean, do people call it that? We refer to it as the Kiwanis Park. Yeah, mm. interesting. Well, that's the town vehicle with a snowplow pushing the rocks off the road at Indian Point. That's right. Pushing, yeah, pushing the rock it's thing back off the road with the plow. This is the end of Colony's Wharf right here. That, that had a building there, see, because uh -huh. they were pumping, they, they pumped water, salt water from the bay up into mm -hmm. the, the, to the plant to uh, keep the lobsters alive. It looks like Reggie Robishaw's boat right there. Oh, yeah. uh, he had an open boat when that's when he had the when Reg had the uh, the uh, seafood place there. You know the oh, yeah. that, that uh, what's his name? Old estate down there, Deering. Mm -hmm. Deering ran that lobster or that fish store down there for years. Mm -hmm. And that fish store is just up here. See the lobster traps there. More than likely, those are Ernest Wentworth's. Oh yeah. Remember Ernest? He wrote that book, The Silver Harvest. Oh, no, I don't well, know. Well, he used to keep his lobster traps on Colony's Wharf, and he's the only fellow that I knew of that uh -huh. ever did keep his traps down there, but Colony's always allowed him to mm -hmm. keep his traps there. As I recall, the day of the storm wasn't very cold. It was quite a warm day. Mm. It looks like it froze overnight. Yeah. 
and i recall the harbor bridge in st john being shut down that day and i don't recall it ever being shut down since for high winds now is that can you see the name the duke is that the duke yeah probably if it is that's a connor's that there's a, you see there right there that's that's Pendlebury lighthouse that's right and this is a fish carrier coming in one of connor's is boat owned by connor's that's salt they used to carry on the you know this is up this is the town wharf now yeah look at the skirt yeah you know, all the skirting coming off there so case hardware and the, the old buildings that used to be there What was this? This those two buildings there belong to uh, the, the hardware store. Wayne Queen Cummings owned those afterwards, right here. Oh yes. Yeah, and that house right there was yeah. uh, belonged to Eldon Dune. It's gone now. Mm -hmm. I think it's Eldon Dune or, or, or Johnny Holmes or John Johnny Hall. So this is the next day. It's freezing up. By the look of it. Now, I don't know, somebody's boat here with a scallop drag on it. What's the name of it? Merck? I can't see. That's a lot of erosion down by the seaside, isn't it? Mm. Uh, that's Mull Johnson. That place is torn down now. There's the Seaside Beach Resort. Yeah. yeah that's Conley's. Mm -hmm. That's the fish plant. Mm -hmm. Those two, two tanks were mm -hmm. fuel for that. Market Wharf. Yeah. Yeah. Half the skirt got washed away. Mm. It's a miracle it hadn't been all taken out. Yeah, I see there's some still there. I hadn't realized. Yes, yeah. now this is the old wharf that uh, down, down where, uh, where Teddy lived, down where I built Dolly's right beside you. That's the old wharf there. Eh? That's the one you had on yeah. your property? Yeah. Yeah. This is close now it's because end, that's right. This the is end of all. Pagan? Uh, yeah, this is. Uh, it, it threw all kinds of stuff in there. Old concrete, I think, off the down the point because they must have stopped it. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's uh, what's that? That's uh, and that's Mal Johnson's. This is Frank Hans. That's uh, Seaside Beach Resort. Yep. And this is something burned here, I guess, but what is it? This, I, I don't recognize that. There's a... Keep going. It's in town there somewhere. I don't know which. Yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, uh... This is this tin roof. Tin roof, two chimneys. And mobile home next to it. Oh, is that Mrs. Carson's on, uh... Mrs. Carson's on Sophia Street? Uh... And that mobile home behind it could have could be uh, could have been Lloyd Irving's, mm -hmm. but I'm not sh entirely sure of that. Could be wrong. All the gables. Mm. Sign all twisted there. I owned a little cottage down on Chandler Road at the time, mm -hmm. where. Okay where Marg and Ron Ramsey later built and have a house today. Mm -hmm. 
And like so many of those cottages, it was set on rocks. It didn't have a foundation. Mm -hmm. And my neighbor, uh, Wendell Holt, who had a permanent house next door, mm -hmm. but he was setting a little bit higher. His house was on a foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, advised me to open all the doors and windows of my cottage. And to quote him, he said, let the sea run through her and she won't float. And he was absolutely right. The uh -huh. sea went through the cottage. I had a watermark on the wall at about the three foot mark. Three foot. And it stayed in position. Whereas some of them that were closed up tight either shifted on their foundations or were totally washed away. And because it was only a cottage and there was no insulation and so on, it was not that difficult to dry it out and uh, put it back in service. But Wendell was a man of the sea and he gave me very good advice. Uh, that's Pooch Stewart's old factory. This is at the corner of, uh, uh, this is at the corner of Pagan, uh, Pagan mm -hmm. and uh, Sophia. Yeah. And then there was a tannery here too, wasn't there? I remember the night the tannery burned. Oh, really? And because we lived on Douglas Street for the first few years of my parents' marriage. Mm -hmm. And it's just one of those childhood memories of a big fire in the night. Uh -huh. So the fire was probably 49, 48. I think it was on that expanse of lawn that now is Edmonds. So the tannery and then, the, then Pooch's... Pooch's clan factory was actually on the street right of way. On the corner. Yeah, when you came down the street and you looked right at it, it was probably uh, right on, on town property. Yeah. Well, I kept that cottage at the point a few more years mm -hmm. after the Groundhog Day gale, and I never had to buy any firewood because enough driftwood came up around yeah. the cottage mm -hmm. during that time that I always had firewood for the little stove. And my breakwater was one that survived. I was very, very fortunate. The previous owners mm -hmm. had put it in not long before I bought it, oh, really? mm -hmm. and it, it survived. 